Hey everyone, let's play some games. Today we are playing the Temper Warrior. We played a bit more since last time, got up to rank 8, so keep going in the right direction. And we have a fancy hunter. Hmm. Don't see it too much. Oh wow, that is fancy. So let's keep our armor smith and also keeping the taskmaster. Now the only thing we need for the perfect turn 2 duo or triple triplet tri something it's a 5 reward X. Oh, well, you know what, a free drop, that's perfectly fine with me. And I guess we also need an Amami for the cr droplet. Uh, Alright, let's talk about something else. First, we'll see what our hunter friend plays here. And... It's a creeper. So I think the answer here has to be an armor smith. Yeah, let's get that out there. And I'm actually quite happy we do have a good free drop. And Harvest Golem does very nice against like all this bunch of early stuff like a that uh, hunters tend to play since you can double trade. You can usually kill most minions that the hunters throw at you. Huh. Oh, okay. That's fine. Let's get a uh, our Harvest Golem out there. And then what I would like to draw is a whirlwind, since we don't really have a way of clearing up like all the one one. Well played. <laughs> yeah. Well. Great. Hmm. So next turn is not looking too great. I mean we can play the taskmaster, we don't have anything to play with it. At least we do have a good target for it. And I guess armor ring up is not the worst thing in the world. Now we have another option though. Death's bite. So the question is. Do we just want to go to the face with Death's Bite? Or do we want to Taskmaster armor up? Hmm... Well, next turn we can play Belcher. How are we doing here? Yeah, I think I would like to just have a whirlwind available next turn. Alright, let's just do this. And get some damage in as well. Which is always nice. Because if you can get the hunters down. I mean they usually don't care too much about the health, so they sometimes leave themselves open for like a Gromash finish. So that could be a possibility. We still have 30 life. So that's good. Uh, I think we are gonna hit the shredder here. See what pops out of it. And you're most likely gonna play a Belgium. One thing I like is that I haven't had to face any secrets yet, those are so annoying. You know what, I, I played a lot of, like, there's a lot of paladins lately, and the thing is, paladin secrets are just so much easier to deal with than hunter secrets. Like, if you have a big minion versus a paladin, you're not suddenly scared that it's gonna get freezing trap, right? But versus a hunter, it's so painful. Put this apple on your head. Hmm. Rid of that. Then, well, we need to get rid of that knife chapter. So, yeah, I guess this is gonna be be the play. And then we that that, and then just play the shredder here. Right. Mm, probably gonna see Doctor Boom next turn. Are we gonna see uh, Lion King here? That is the question. Yep. Now that's the case. Well, we need to get rid of that because we don't want the lion to have seven attack. Now, hmm. Yeah, because I think I want to play Dr. Boom here. And I think that might force her to stay on the defensive. At least the hound though would be quite effective, so hopefully she doesn't have that. Okay, she has her own Dr. Boom, but like, look how much damage we can do. That is 5, 13, like we can get her almost out. And uh, we have an Execute. So what if we... So... I'm gonna try and rush her down a bit here. So we wanna attack with these two first. And I wanna execute this Dr. Boom. Okay. And then... That... Get our sludge bullshit out. Go for the face. 
And then... We could execute here. We could armor up. Or we could play a man. Uh, I mean, thing is, if I wasn't scared of like a huge unleash, I think a mani would be the definite answer. But could also just execute here. Let's execute because then she doesn't have a good way of getting rid of this sludge culture, and it doesn't give us an extra minion for a big gun. Or give her an extra minion. Well, and us. Yeah. Um, Flare is like a big reason to play Hunter right now. So good versus the Paladins. Even if it's two mana nowadays, I think it's probably worth it in this meta. Okay, she's almost out of mana. So we're probably gonna... Well, she does have... She could do a kill command. One on leash. Hmm. Are we gonna keep our Dr. Boom around? Well, Hunter's Mark would get rid of it, but does she have a Hunter's Mark? I guess that's the question. Masterful. Nope! Okay, well that works out. And I believe, yes, winning streak, excellent. Well, if we can win another game, we'll be up at rank 7. And almost finish this daily too. Good start, very good start. Now, what do we get? Alright, the priest. Probably gonna be a dragon priest. That seems to be the way of things. So we have the coin, hmm. which means that we could coin out a berserker potentially, then turn two taskmasters. So let's keep that option open. Also gonna keep the weapon around though. Execute, I like Execute versus Priest since you tend to get really high health minions that can be kind of hard to deal with. We tossed one card, so did we, so we both probably have relatively good starting hand. Alright, so that's the thing, right? So now the circle doesn't look as appealing anymore. I think instead I'm just gonna get the wax out. This. Don't give him any minions to play a power word shield on and such. Or to heal up. I mean Amani would have been fine there. If I hadn't if I didn't have the weapon, I would have played the Amani and been fine with it. But I think I prefer just clearing the board. <laughs> Amani out this turn. Of course now it doesn't fit so well with the mana for a Taskmaster next turn, and well, then it will be stuck with one mana. That might still be what I do, especially now with that technician, because then we can kill it. I mean, another option, of course, would be just Taskmaster Execute. That way, we would get a quite impressive board. What hmm. now? We should have a Whirlwind around, because then we could like set up for Acolyte Whirlwind next turn, but... That's not really an option unless we draw it. You know what, I think I want to just try and get a really big board presence here. Let's just do this. And uh, that. Okay. I guess next turn we can play Amani and Armor Smith, just going for that huge board. And then just hope we get a Whirlwind sometime. I would even settle with a Death Spite. Oh, well now I want a Whirlwind even more. Let's play this, and the nice thing is that this is not a board that's very weak to uh, to Holy Nova. In fact, it's quite strong against it. So, turn 5, probably not gonna see Holy Nova. That's fine. Come on, Whirlwind, it would be so good. Ah, not there. Ah, see, the problem is that now turn 6 is coming up. I, I know Cabal Shadow Priest is not as common in Dragon Priest as it is in the regular Control Priest. But, so I've, yeah. And we don't have anything else to play, so I think I'm just gonna get it out here. And just hope that it won't get stolen. And uh, let's kill this one off. Come on, up. Oh, you 
I just hope that no Cabal Shadow Priest arrives to the battlefield. Maybe, maybe we could draw a whirlwind. Okay, good. Come on, we need something. Oh, Death's Fight! That's actually quite perfect. I'll definitely take that. Face. Yep, things are looking excellent. We'll finally get some card drop going. I still don't want to see a Cabal Shadow Priest, but... I have no time for games. Interesting. Hmm. Spellbreaker could be good. Ah, that's annoying. But how much damage do we have? Like, that could be 5, 9, 10, 11. Get it down to 8. We have a Gromash around. I think maybe just go all out for the face here. Just ignore Solvana. I think that's what I'm gonna do. That. See what we draw. Harrison. Ah, I can't even play him right now. Sp oh, Spellbreaker? Okay. Let's play that. And um, then I think we'll just get rid of Sylvanas here. <laughs> well, that worked out. Thanks, Acolytes. Thank you. Not sure about next turn, but. I wouldn't even mind just playing a Gromash, like even without the Enrage, it's just... We have a very strong hand here, like turn 10 we have the Varian. Turn 9 might be a little awkward, but we do have something. We could play Harrison plus maybe something we draw, plus we have the Acrolyte, so... Well, we could get a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah? What are you gonna do? Could the Holy Nova, but that wouldn't really be that bad. I mean, I would get two more cards, so I would have more possibilities next turn. It would kill these minions, but I think it only lowers the damage output we have with two. So, not that appealing. I might still do it though. Well, let's see. One thing he wouldn't do would be Light Bomb. <laughs> wow, that's. A pretty sad Vulcan. I haven't seen Vulcan for a while either. Yeah, okay. Um, and Whirlwind. You know what, I think I'm just gonna play the Whirlwind here to try and draw some cards because the hand is so lackluster. I mean, the th other thing is, I mean, we could just keep the these two around for next turn. You know what, I think I'm gonna do that. Instead, I think I'm gonna try and draw here. I want to keep the option of a... Oh, okay, well that totally works. Let's do this. And then we have a pretty good setup for lethal next turn. Alright. Even if it clears the board. Even if it gets some taunts up, we can probably deal with it. Let's see what it does. Is someone injured? Okay. Hmm. What's the plan here? Oh, I see. Well, okay, he did manage to clear the board. But we're still gonna win with our Gromash. There we go. And that's rank 7, I think. But uh, let's play another game. These two games have been pretty fast, so I think we have time for another one. Let's queue up. Let's see if we can continue our win streak. Well, finding people fast. And we have a mage this time. Still not facing a lot of mages, but see them once in a while. Most of them are some kind of aggressive mech mages. Uh, I mean, versus those kind, it's kind of tempting to execute, but... Hmm, I don't I think Red, I would just 
toss it and look for a weapon here. We really need a 5 war axe. Uh, not really what I had in mind, but I guess it's not too late to draw it. Hello. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Alright, well. That might come in handy. Nah, no, probably not, because turn 1 already passed, so we don't think we're gonna see that 2 1 early. Hmm. Yeah. What do we do here? I think. I just armor up. I don't think playing a Taskmaster really does very much here. And in, just in case it's something like Mirror Entity, it's nice to have a Taskmaster around to proc it with. So I think we're just gonna armor up. And then next turn, probably play Death Spite. But uh, we'll see. Could definitely have gone a lot better here early on. Like, having a slow start versus a mage is quite scary. At this point, I would. Just kind of hope it's actually a freeze mage instead. Wanted. We'll have a bigger Terrible chance then. Mm, interesting. Spell sling. I don't see those very often. Wow, we got probably the worst card we could have gotten. Like, I can't think of a card that would have been worse than this one at all. Like, useless. Alright, well, that's too bad, I guess. I think we are gonna... Just play our sp uh, yeah, Death Spite here. Get rid of that. And hope that she got a weapon. So she can... Oh wait, no, she can't. you can't get a weapon with that card. <laughs> it doesn't work quite like that. It has to be a spell. I think if we play this one, we get to get two 1-1 one, one demons, right? Yeah. Just gonna sit on that card for a while. Until I run out of other cards to play. Hope she got something equally useless. Maybe the the soul sac like that card where you sacrifice a demon and get some life. <laughs> that would be. In fact, I think that card would actually be worse in this matchup since there's not going to be any demons, so it would be a hundred percent useless. Whereas I do think this will give me two one one demons. Way too expensive to be useful though. All right, so. Now what? Um, yeah, what do we do here? I feel like probably just going all out tempo is probably the best choice. Like it's tempting to play the Acolyte here, but I think it's probably a mistake. I think we should probably play the, the Shredder. Or... We could do this and uh, then see if it's a mere entity here. Park it with the, this one. No, it is effigy, okay. Okay, that's fine. We'll just play our Amani and wish we had a whirlwind. But uh, she might just use it this turn because she might be scared of a whirlwind, rightfully so. Hey, we might draw it. Well, let's see. That's a drag. Well, she's not a mech mage. Just some kind of... Um, I don't know. I don't know what kind of mage you would call this. Because it seems to be kind of all over the place. At least some bit, something different. Hmm. See, now because of that... I don't really want to play a sludge build. I really wish I had a whirlwind. I seem to be wishing for whirlwinds a lot. It's just a really useful card lately. All right. Let's. What if we? Uh... Kill that. Hit execute and then play our Shredder here. She'll probably come out of the woodwork next turn with the Assassin to kill our Shredder, I assume. But maybe she'll save it. Well, this looks more like the the old Flame Waker Mage. Oh, wow. 
Oh, commanding shout. Alright. That works fairly well for a patient assassin, I suppose. There's the death spite. Okay, good. So, I think... We play this. And we kill that. And we kill that. And of course we're gonna lose our mana rate, unfortunately, but... That's just how it's gonna be. Actually, I think that was a mistake. I mean, we should probably have uh, gone for the face with that too, too, now that I think about it. Because then we could have gotten two more damage in, because she was almost surely gonna make that trade herself. Yeah, I messed up there. That was a mistake. It's like, I want to play the Sludge Belcher and go for like the best tempo play, but it's like then we don't really have that much. I mean, so, should we just play the Aquiline and see if we could draw something decent? Or should we just go for this plus armor? Armor might not be the worst thing in the world. In fact, it might be the best thing in the world. Could, have, could even play Sylvanas. Yeah, we could just not kill anything and just play Sylvanas. I have no time and then go for a strong turn next turn, where we play Acrolyte and the Belcher and use our weapon. And if you're lucky, he, she doesn't have a good way of dealing with Sylvanas here. Yeah? yeah, it doesn't look like she does, so she's just gonna trade into it. And then we're gonna get the leftover minion here. Ah, that's all right. It's definitely better than nothing. So the Sylvanas play turned out in our favor for sure. Now, is it gonna be another FAT? Well, if it is, we should probably kill this min. Because we don't want her to get a free drop. I mean, four drop. So, let's see. Now, I wanted to play the Acolyte, but I'm thinking you want maximum tempo, right? So I think I'm gonna play this. But also, if it could be mere entity, but then we can kill the frauding with our weapon here. Let's see. Okay, not mere entity. Then we'll play the Belcher. Well, why did I play the Belcher before I attacked? I don't know. Ah, oh, that was silly. So, but. Oh, I did it. Yeah, that was actually a significant mistake. Because then it's just gonna die to this one. Ah, well. It's too late to change that now. I mean, I guess the one... One upside is that... You get a slightly bigger Berserker. So there's that. She doesn't have that many cards left. We don't have that many either, but it's also because I'm not I'm trying to just go for the maximum tempo every turn instead of card draw, because we could have more cards out there. Don't don't do bad stuff, please. Okay, that's not too bad at all. Well, I wish I had two whirlwinds. Okay, so this is a little scary. I think we need to play a Belcher because if she has like a couple of fireballs, yeah, we need a Belcher. And then. Do we arm up or do we just play an Acolyte here? I think I want to play the Acolyte because we need to get rid of stuff. We're not gonna get rid of stuff with armor. So I'm gonna play the Acrolyte. And it also has that added advantage of the fact that she has the Flame Breaker out and shots might hit the Acrolyte. Which would be quite nice. I really wish I hadn't made that mistake last turn though, with the Whirlwind with the Bell Shout. That was such a silly mistake. I could really 
Like if you lose, that could be the reason why. Wanted, dead or alive. No, that's a better one. Ah, uh, maybe it's not so good in this particular matchup because all her minions are quite cheap. I don't really want to give her two minions for one, especially at this point in the game. So actually, no, it doesn't really help us that much. At least not right now. Come on, hit the Acolyte. Not the Berserker. Yeah, playing naturalize, that's just really scary, because that gives her more chance of throwing the fireballs that she needs. Ah, oh, this is actually really bad. Can't get... Come on, Varian, you need to give us, like, Romash. We already got played both of our Belchers, so... Behold the armies of yeah, what are we gonna get? Hello, Fab. Dr. Boom. <laughs> That's good stuff, but I'm just afraid it's not enough. She has 6, 7. She's a fireball. That's 13, 14 with fire blast. Plus the flame waker. Well, no fireballs. Okay, not that yet. Well, we have a quite, a, quite a strong board, so maybe we can pull this off. Especially if you get an armor smith or something. Oh, okay, armor smith. How about a whirlwind? Yes, no, maybe. No, okay. Well, we're definitely playing the armor smith. And we're definitely playing the flooding berserker. And then the question is we probably want to play our naturalized, don't we? I think we do. So then, um, no do this because she played her probably one big minion in her deck, and we just need to survive here. So then we do that. Ah, but it's like we're giving her fireballs. That's scary too. But I think it's probably for the best. Obviously, we're gonna arm up, and I think I'm gonna play. Well, the thing is, if she has fire, flame strike, everything. I think let's keep the Amali in our hand for now. If it was a minion that had more than 4 health, I would play it. Well then again, maybe not, because she also has the bombs, so... No flame strike, so that's... Unfortunately, we refilled her hand with that naturalized, but... At least we did get rid of the 7-7. Seven, seven. Not a secret. She already played both of her effigies, so it has to be something else this time. Um, well, I'm happy about you, Amos Smith. You're gonna be quite useful. Bye bye, Dr. Boom. And then we have our huge Berserker. Alright. Let's see, if we play this. Is it mirror entity? <laughs> it's time for a okay, I was thinking it could also be counter spell, but it's, it's not. So blow. this way we will. Seven nineteen. Are no, we not getting lethal here? So let's just kill that. Kill that. And I think I'm just gonna play our sense demons here. And. Uh, I guess I'll just play our wordless imps, because why not? I mean, the thing is, then if she uh, does like flame strike or something, then we get two more armor. So <laughs> that's not the end of the world. And we had the extra mana to go. Alright. Looks like things are turning around here. Even though I feel like this is not, not my strongest game. And she could get back into it with a nice flame strike. At least that would mean that we would have plenty of life to try and rebuild with. Not much card draw left though. We already played both of our acolytes, I think, right? And our variant. Well played. 
All right, we did it. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.